Hello, dealings and darlings. We've got a brand new game we're going to do today. We're going to start off some satisfactory. I love this game. It is just... It is so chill. It's gorgeous. And it makes my apartment warm in the winter. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is the tail end of June. So... It's going to get hot in here. Because it is really graphics heavy. It is gorgeous. It is... Real addicting. And let's just go ahead and get going. Uh, we're going to start... I don't really want to... Ooh. That's new. So yeah, there's a big update. And I haven't played in a hot minute. So... We're going to do something. We're going to start off the grass fields. That's where I always start out. Just because I'm lame like that. It's fine. Whatever. I'm going to call it YouTube since that's what we're doing. And hit start game. Do 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 do. Attention, pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planetfall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. <clears throat> Atmospheric entry in five, four, Little Three, handle two, strap just went off. One. Oh, there Three, goes down. Four, Never mind. Initialized. So. suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Alright. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers, such as you, in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. Note, we'll objective-based introduction we'll initialized. Time. Welcome to, onboarding. First objective, please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to yep. construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note, fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. Let me. Okay. Got it. All important Fixit data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. Let's 
So one's supposed to actually open the codex. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So there's the things we can make so far. The very beginning of stuff. Tutorials, things there. Inbox. Nothing. We good. Second objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Here we go. Note. According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Third objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Yep, we're gonna Note, go there though. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. <gasps> this is like the worst part because it's just Ada just doesn't ever shut up, it feels like. I mean, like, what she does is really useful in letting us know what's going on. But still. Why? Okay. Oh, it's the only thing we can do so far. Fine. But we're gonna go over that way. Yeah, see, there's all those over there. And we're gonna go that way. Now we're going to run into some baddies here in a second. There's one. Oh, we are absolutely steering clear of that one. See if you can see it. That is big. It hurts very much. This is a giant tick thing. He's fine. Not a problem. He's just kind of there. So we're going to go Oh, that was him making noises. I was like, that sounded like one of the other baddies. Oh, see, there's one. You gonna come? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up his carcass. Gotcha. So, I have this cat, right? Bing Clawsby. He's a sweetheart. I love him to bits. Now here's the problem. This cat spent his first few months outside, right? His mama is a street cat and I still try and take care of her, but she's not keen on being an indoor cat, which sucks because they need to be not outside creatures. So him, I was able to bring in. So it's great. However, gut biomes are developed in those first few months of life. So the um, bacteria he has in his guts are really fucking stinky, bro. I mean, like they are horrendous. It's the worst. I, I, he has gas right now right now he's asleep like oh he's moved oh he's over there now he's about four feet away right and this cat is farting so horrifically it is just the worst the worst oh god i got slapped Okay. I mean, like, it is so foul that it's spicy. Blah. Okay. This is not where we're going to set up camp, but it's always Fourth good to, like, build the hub. have Note, some. Note, to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence oh, of iron yeah, sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. We're gonna collect some of those because I keep slapping things with my face. Like, 
I fought that baddie. Oh, there's a slug there. I'm surprised that there's not... A hostel right there. I mean, I'll take it that there isn't. Mm, there's sulfur right there. And we'll remember that there's sulfur right there. Wait, is that bauxite already? I'll take it. Because we're going to set up over there. But I am going to pick up some of these berries because knowing me, I'm going to slap things a lot and things are going to slap me. It's fine. There is just some really warm air wafting off of my computer right now. Okay, so I'm giving those a wide berth because those hurt a lot. They will poison you. Those are another non-hostile. See where that tick guy is? That's where we're going to be in a little bit. See, yeah, I'm going to get in the way. You guys can see. Yep, see? Dangerous. Don't do it. It can suck. But there is always like all kinds of things to fight over here. So we're going to explore gently. Because there he is. And there should be one over there too. One or two over there. Hey buddy, notice me. out so here's our limestone which we'll need here in just a minute but what we want are these two ores nodes right here iron ore and I'll show you why here in just minutes where is he there he is come here I cannot wait until I have like actual weapons where I can get not like that. <laughs> See, and the reason why I like over here is for a really simple reason. Because that's what we need to start things off. But. See there's more. I'm in a bad place to show you. There's two more iron. Yeah I can't get up here. It's fine. But uh. There are more off that direction. And then there's resources over that direction. So this is a really great area. And then you've got all those trees up there, which are really great. So this area is exactly where I want to set up. So let's build our hub. I'm going to tuck our hub in a little out of the way. See, like, clear out some space a little bit. Yeah, right there. Okay, here we go. See, here's a workbench. You have unlocked hub feature, manual craft bench, hub feature, hub terminal. 
Fifth objective, complete hub upgrade one. Okay. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. They want 10 pipes. This is real easy. We're going to just make a couple of these. See, it'll tell us how many we can make. There we go. Here's a place to put things that we don't need right now, like these. We're going to just shove that in there because we can't do anything with the box site yet. That's Congratulations. Going to be an you have unlocked building, workshop, equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, personal storage. Sixth objective, complete hub upgrade two. Note, portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. <clears throat> okay. Yes, we do want some portable miners. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do up a couple of these. So we need 20 and 10. Let's see. But... In order to build portable miners, we need another little thing. We're going to need to build us a workshop of sorts. That's not what I want. Q. Production. We want an equipment workshop. I'm going to just... Oh, they want six... And four. Okay. So we need a total of 16 for this bad boy. And 24. We'll just make them all. That's fine. Hello. So you just knock it right there. See now from here. Portable miners. Let's make a couple. I'll be like, well, where come on? Where? I shall show you. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Boop. Boop. Do, do, do. Do, do. See, and then it's getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, but that's a great idea, honestly. We're going to start mining over here as well. So, we need 10 and 20, so we're going to go ahead, make more iron ingots. And then we'll make 20 of these bad boys. Why did I not 
I guess, I don't know. It's fine. Whatevs. There we go. We now have a roof over our heads. Let's see, and then congratulations, we have you have our unlocked first hub feature biomass, biomass burner. burner. Scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Seventh objective, complete hub upgrade three. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, yes, yes, yes. buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Okay. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. I mean, we can do that. So... They just want us to build a smelter. Let's see, what does it take? Oh, we need copper wire. So, make sure you put your Xeno Zapper back in the hand. Or else you will get the shit knocked out of you. Again. <laughs> so we're gonna come down here. I'm gonna... Actually... I want to eat. There we go. What? Did I just mess things up? Why am I not? Oh. Because I'm dumb. I hit the wrong thing. I hit the console instead of do, do, do. It's fine. Okay. So there will absolutely be a hostel over here because there's a swooper thing. Yeah. Breaking news from Earth. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World President urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's like, I hear him. Where is he? Right there. Right there, man. I should have brought a portable miner. Boo. I wasn't thinking. It's fine. Let's see, how much do we have? 26. Fifty, and then we'll start making some things. Okay, because we're gonna have to make copper wire and cables to power things. Okay. A lot of this game, at the very beginning, is a lot of hurry up and wait. Well, I mean, a lot of the game, period, is hurry up and wait. But there's a lot of exploration. It's a really big, beautiful world. There's plenty to see. Run over here. Empty out these miners. What do I need for the smelter? Oh, I just need five wire. Oh, great wire. Okay. Oop, that's not that. There we go.
We're gonna make a couple of these so we can make power lines and then I'm going to build a smelter over here. And it's not gonna make much sense because the biomass burner's right over there. It's all the way on the back side of that. But it will make sense here in just a minute, I promise. So we're gonna make it so that that way is the end. And that should be good. Okay, we are going to throw that in there. Grab some more leaves to throw in there. So that it's got enough to keep going. And then we're going to go and tell the smelter what we wanted to make. We want to make it that. And there it goes. It will make that for us now. So in the meantime, we can look over here and see what we need for this next upgrade. We need 20 plates. Here, we'll go ahead and just plonk that in there. That in there. Let's see, it's only got 16 in there. Let's just go ahead and take it. We need that, and we need 13 pipes. We can go ahead and get some of that going too. this in here get that going too there we go look at our hub getting big new buildings new parts this will be nice to have see and now we need to come over here congratulations you have unlocked scanner feature limestone new buildings and recipes which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively Eighth objective, complete hub upgrade four. Note, use power poles to expand the power network Sorry, for I just optimal results. Sorry, totally knocked over my microphone. Do, do, do. This thing is doing a weird again. Make us some concrete. See, because we need to make more wire. So we gotta make 20 cables. And then we need 75 sheets of metal. Okay. Guess fifty. The things that are available to us right now will get us through the beginning chunk of the game, actually. So let's go ahead and plonk that in. Oh, 
almost there. One more set. There we go. Nope. Maybe I need to be like not dumb and make them. It's fine. <laughs> With that, we now have a fully outfitted area. You have unlocked building, conveyor belts, and poles. Inventory, additional slots. Ninth objective, complete hub upgrade 5. Note, portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice, when planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Okay. All right, let's see where we are. Let's walk that in there and get that in there. Let's steal that. Last upgrade. I'm gonna make some things. I'll have to go get us some more copper. Because we are not going to have enough. Actually, let's make us some iron ingots. And then we're going to put some miners over there. put just a few over there. And we're going to put another one on the limestone since we've got a need for limestone now. Okay. Gank these bushes. Have to put these in the biomass burner. We should very shortly be getting the next upgrade for the biomass and it should be able to get solid biomass. Is that another bush? Yes. Oh, that one's in the mountain. <laughs> Sometimes they just clip right in. It's fine. Um, yeah, this game is still technically in alpha. Or not even it's technically in alpha. It is still in alpha. But it has some really great possibilities. And I'm really excited to see what Coffee Stain Studio does with this. Okay, now that we're here and mostly safe. I'm gonna go ahead and grab us some ore.
Alright, that'll get us. I'm gonna go ahead and... Just so I'm not annoyed by the sun, I'll have to get that swooper, swoop soonish, because I don't think I can keep on dealing with that noise every time that I'm down here. All right. Yeah, it's out. There it goes. It'll go again. And grab some more ore. Grab that. Grab that. Grab. So we need 75 of these. We'll go ahead and get this going. So we're going to need a butt ton of wire. Once we get the... Um, automated miners. This will get a lot easier. I promise. A lot less tedious. That should be coming up actually I think with this one. Guess our concrete made. All right, let's got this one done. And that should have everything built. Congratulations, you have unlocked Building Miner Mark 1 Building Storage Container Hub Feature Additional Biomass one. Burner 10th Objective Complete Hub Upgrade 6 Note, there are no notes Biomass Burner, that's what I can't wait for Okay Go ahead and plonk some stuff You've stopped. Why have you stopped? Oh, because you're out of order. There we go. So, what we're going to do... Ow. That itches. Just... Give me a second. Okay. I don't remember what I need for a miner. Okay. I need some more concrete and ten sheets. Grab us some more limestone. And then we'll work on streamlining this a little bit. Build us a constructor, get that going. We can do 
storage so we can get that started too. We're going to start making some fun things. Okay. I know it seems like I'm doing overkill, but we're going to make things. And it's going to be fun. of these. So we're going to need plenty of these for our next little bit. Let's go ahead and make these. We don't need these just yet. Oh, we might need those for the constructor. That might be why we have those right now. Okay. So, we're going to come over here. Pick up miner. Pick that up. Now watch this. This is when it gets fun. Miner, I'm going to get out of the way because I am in the way. Put it right there. And then we're actually, I think, that's almost done. I want it to run out. No. Fine. Yeah, no, it's just got 19. It's fine. We'll let it do its thing. Let's see. How is this doing? Oh, it's still got plenty. It's almost done. <clears throat> okay. So, we're going to dismantle this. I know that seems like counterintuitive. Hold up. It gets awesome. So, smelter. Right. Let's see. Where is it? I'm going to plonk it right there. Now, three. Bam! Now it gets even better because now that will go into there directly. And then, constructor. Oh, we need two reinforced plates for that. That's fine. Okay. Now reinforced plates take screws and plates. So there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to, oh, I need three wires still. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Oh, I gotta go get us some more. Copper, before I do that, that's fine. It should be good and ready for us to go harvest now. Run down here, grab us some of the good stuff. Empty this bad boy out. Because what we'll eventually do is we'll do the exact same thing over here and then build a storage container over here and we'll just have it make us make wire. Oh, because it doesn't have wires to anything, it's fine. Okay. 
That's not what I wanted. That's what I want. going to make us a power thing. So, we're going to connect this to that. Because that can only have one power line to it. Let's see. I have to make some more cables. We need three. It's fine. Now we can go bam. Yes. There. 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 To there. So we can come over here. That's already started drilling. So we're going to tell this to make iron ingots. And this will put iron ore in there. This will tell to make iron plates. And then as those come in there, there we go. And now we're going to plunk this bad boy right there. Oh, nope, that's not going to work. Right there. Yeah, that should do. So now, as those plates get made, they'll show up in here. So then we can just pull them straight from that. And then, as we get some more resources, do the same thing over here for pipes. Make life real easy on us. There will come a point where it's going to get really boring just pressing E to collect. Your fingers will get tired. <laughs> but, I mean, there's plenty of places to explore. There's plenty of things to see. Enemies. Like, I'll have to introduce you guys to the spider sometime in the near future. Is there any of these I can grab? No. Okay, fine. All right. So, while this is going, let's go ahead and make some of the other things we need for Hub Upgrade 6. But, we've been going for 50 minutes, so... Yeah, um, I'll be back very shortly. All right, here's to a new adventure. Thanks for joining me, everyone.